everyone, I'm graphic designer and illustrator Annika and in this video we are going to learn how to create a promotional flyer for print that can be easily customized for your business. This tutorial will take you through the basic steps of creating an eye-catching flyer which can be printed right away in print shop ready CMYK colors directly from Photoshop. You can follow this tutorial to make a flyer, tweak the steps with the content and the colors that you want. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment right below the video. First, let's set up a new document with dimensions 154 by 216 millimeters. These dimensions are for an A5 paper size with a 3 millimeter bleed, a resolution of 300 pixels per inch for better quality and color mode CMYK. CMYK color mode is the industry standard for printing while RGB is intended for color displays. Check to make sure you're working in the right color space for the right output. Since CMYK is a subtractive method of printing, as color is added, the result is darker, while the opposite is true for RGB. PDFs are ideal for CMYK files, but make sure to consult with your printer beforehand to find out which file format they prefer. We'll start by creating guides to mark the bleed area. Use the Move tool or V on the keyboard to create a horizontal guide by dragging the cursor from the top ruler. Make sure the guide is set to 3 mm along the y-axis, both on top and the bottom. Repeat the same steps for the vertical guides. The bleed is the area outside a document that's trimmed after printing. The bleed area in Photoshop is used to make sure that you have color around the edges of a printed document. Go to File, place Embedded and browse to the image you want to add to the flyer background. Now we can add a rectangular shape on top where we will place the text. Bear in mind that a good flyer design will have the right balance of text and imagery. Click on the rectangle tool from the toolbar to create a rectangle on the left hand side. Let's also add a variation of our logo for the fictitious wine brand in the center. Placing it strategically will help with visual movement in the design. The first thing here is to add the type for the event title. This flyer is for a wine tasting event, so click on the type tool from the toolbar and begin typing. It's important to note that we should pick only one or two font families which have various font weight variations. As a general rule, there can be four variations of one font size. You can use all caps, bold headlines, regular text and emphasized. Using a limited amount of fonts within your design will help make the design look more cohesive and easy to read. Similar to colors in a brand design system, it is often good to have about two to three primary colors, which is why we're only using the established brand color palette. We're done with adding all the required information on our flyer design, which leaves us with color. Go ahead and make the bold headlines to be the gold color, providing more contrast and the beige for the rest. You can simply select the text layer from the Layers panel and click the color you want to choose from the Creative Cloud library that you have already created. We're almost done. I will add some more ellipses here to emphasize the visual language of the brand. And we're good to go. Click on File and go to Print. Move to the Printing Marks section and check the Corner Crop Marks box. And then go ahead and click on the bleed button from the function section and set the width to 3 mm. Click OK and then the print button to save your document as a PDF file. Open up your PDF file and the design comes with the crop marks for the bleed. Today we learned how to make a fun flyer for your next event. You can print it, you can share it on social media and you can also send it over to your mailing list. My name is Annika, thank you so much for watching and if you want to learn more about how to use Photoshop for marketing efficiently then make sure to watch the rest of the videos in this playlist and if you like the content hit the bell icon and subscribe to the channel. Alright, bye for now.